So in my YouTube studio, I would like to have somewhere to sit. So I'm going to use this chair. It is a 996 GT3 uh, chair. It's not an original one, it's a replica. I bought it uh, seven years ago when I was working with the Land Rover Discovery 2 project. I thought it would be nice to sit in a, a sport chair driving off-road, but it was never mounted. Um, I bought two of them. One is in our PlayStation VR unit and uh, one I'm planning to put in the studio. So um, the chair needs, to, needs someone to sit on and um, for that I'm going to use a tire. So this tire uh, is from my previous uh, Porsche Panamera. It's a 295 Michelin tire. And um, I'm going to start off um, doing something about a black tire. Nothing happens around it. So what I'm going to do is, is actually I'm going to use this uh, tire marker and um, I'm going to um, put color into the um, Michelin logotype and the Pilot Sport logotype that is on this wheel. And um, uh, it's going to take some while. It, I'm telling you this is not a job for someone that are in a hurry. The tire looks much greater. So um, when we are having the white text against the black tire we get some contrasts and um, yeah and some commercials for Michelin. Yeah, buy Michelin. Anyway, um, remember that this is a tire. So uh, these area here are flexible and soft that will create um, a movement in the chair that I would like to have. So um, uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to manufacture a plate that we're going to put in the center of, of the wheel or the tire, sorry. And this is a fest tool. And uh, yes, I love the fest tools. The fest tools are uh, tools for the professionals, not for amateurs like me. But when you have good tools, it is much easier to work. Um, so I really recommend it. I still have tools that are not that professional, like, like the uh, sander here from Skill, but uh, it's doing what it has to do. So what you need to do is uh, to take a, a wooden board and then you take a, a marking marker pen and uh, just drive, draw a line around it, around the, along, alongside the inner side of the tire. And then take the jigsaw and then cut, sorry, saw the uh, board accordingly to the line. And then you will have the first plate ready. The second option to create a circle is to use uh, uh, some piece of wood and then hit the spike in one end and mark it at center and then measuring in the, the um, radius that you would like to have in your circle and put another spike and then just simply put it down in the center of the board and, and uh, draw a line with, uh, with um, the wooden tool that you just built. This is what I prefer. This is a much more accurate and um, something that I really recommend everyone to, to use. If you would like to adjust uh, the distance between the spikes, you can simply just use a hammer and hit along the sides to adjust the last millimeters that you need. Coming back to the FEST tool, I mean, I'm, now I'm going to explain to you why it is so nice to have good tools. Because if you look at this board, it has actually uh, a face. It is not a straight saw that, has been, that I have made because the tire is, is not uh, a 90 degrees angle. So I needed to saw the top plate with a 
40% angle. And for that, I need to have an adjustable jigsaw. And that is why I like the uh, Fest tool so much, because it gives you so much op uh, opportunities. Because this is just a simple tool that comes along with, uh, with, the, with the Fest tool. And it's mounted in the back uh, of the machine. And that releases, here is a, um, a, a bolt in the center, and it releases the plate so I can adjust to which angle I would like to have. And when, and when I'm satisfied, I simply just take the, the tool and tighten up the bolt accordingly to the angle that I would like to uh, saw. And that is so nice when you have a good tools that it really becomes easy to perform good results. So now I can do a perfect angle and saw the plate uh, with an angle and that will fit the tire much better. So let me try to demonstrate. First, I take the floor plate and then I put the tire with the white filled in logotype facing upwards. So as you can see here, uh, the, the uh, board against the floor will rest against this area here. And I will actually have a small, small, small gap from the floor. It creates a flexibility in this uh, uh, tire. So um, it will not be stiff. It, you can actually swing around a bit with the chair. And then you take the top board and put it in the center just like that. Now you will have a really, really nice the top board mounted. As you can see, I have painted this uh, top board black and I have also uh, drilled a 10 millimeters hole to mount the uh, 996 GT3 chair. And then just start working with the ratchet. Again, I recommend uh, to buy really good tools. This is a uh, Kamasa Ratcher. I had it for so many years and it still works perfectly fine. Okay, the chair is done. It is mounted on top of the board. So what I need to do now is to pick a place where I would like to have the chair and uh, then I can start working from the studio. So see you there, bye.